All right, let's get the read on all of this from Scott Martin. Uh, Scott, um, I'm just wondering, let's say uh, the administration goes through with plans to tap the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. There's a lot of, at least 11 Democratic senators have urged, uh, without looking at increasing oil production in this country, isn't that like a Band-Aid approach in, in the meantime? Yeah, just what I was thinking, Neil, a temporary fix to a long-term problem, as you and Dan just talked about. I mean, sure, you can tap the SPR and maybe alleviate some of the price pressures that we're seeing into the holidays, but come January, February, March, and beyond, you're going to see the administration's attack on fossil fuels, especially oil. So you're going to still have price problems next year. And you're right about the, just the process by which the administration has attacked the pipelines and just driven up price, and we're starting to see that now come through. Um, let's talk a little bit about the, the general inflationary picture, uh, picture, oil coming a little bit down today. It's still eye popping at more than 82 bucks a barrel. Gas now increasingly costing over $4, in some locations over $5 a gallon. How long do you see all of this dragging on? A long time uh, because demand is there now. See, that's the problem. Not only have we had obviously reasons that we mentioned just a second ago about price pressures to the upside, but now we've got demand really coming in with the economy fully reopening. So. I see, Neil, some real issues at the pump and some real issues with respect to prices of oil prices at the barrel because you have demand coming back where that's going to drive up price even if we do to tap the SPR or actually increase production, which is probably unlikely anyway. You know, Scott, I noticed in the latest quarter, um, you know, consumer spending was running at a, about a one point. 6% a clip. Uh, that is down from more than 12% in the prior quarter. So it's very, very clear that, that Americans are slowing down a little bit. When does slowing down become nothing? I mean, with no change, <laughs> reversing. It could be soon. I mean, you see these price pressures with the energy side of things. You see some of the other pressures that we're seeing at the grocery store. Obviously, consumers are feeling the pinch here. So it definitely could turn into something maybe a little bit more uh, of, of some sort of malaise, especially with now the Federal Reserve question marks going on with Jay Powell and whether he gets renominated or not, Neil. So therefore, you've got some pressures on the consumer now that weren't there, as you mentioned, just even six months ago. All right, Scott, be talking to you in a bit. Thank you, my friend. In the meantime here, again, the, the